Hi, it's Frank at Eugene. I'm going to spend the next five minutes talking to you about why organisation look towards Oracle for two reasons. Either to strengthen the core or to help drive change. So if you think about organisations, regardless of what transactions, processes or services they provide, commercial, public sector, etc., they've got something that resembles and drives the heartbeat and brand of their organisation. And with that, organisations want to come across as being mission critical. They've got a valuable role to play. Supporting that, they expect to have their own platform and data services to be available with the appropriate disaster recovery and the appropriate security. That's often de defined by what we call a platform. And that platform continues to be strengthened as the organisation becomes stronger and more valuable in the, in, in the marketplace. Along with that, we also talk about how do we improve things? How do we drive change? And often that starts with the executive conversations, whiteboard pictures and people talk about how do we take that and show how this could work. So the word speed is very important because timing is everything. And with speed, you want to have agility. That is being able to make a decision and act on it or change direction and act on it. And with that comes velocity. You need to be able to deliver things quickly so then you can say, is this the right direction? And what I'm talking about is how do we increase our collective learnings or capabilities within our organisation to make sure we can go on this journey to have these considerations to work out what goes back into the core. A lot of what I'm talking about here is precisely what with, with what Oracle's been doing with its own applications running it with its running its infrastructure. The thing which is very attractive, whether it's on-prem or in the cloud, we've, we've had this journey where we've had this approach to maintain an evergreen capability for our customers. And often the infrastructure is tested by the applications and the applications become a really good example of what's possible with our infrastructure. So let's go to that next layer deep to talk about that journey. So that journey comes from our tooling, our capability, that's made up of five layers. First of which is infrastructure. The second layer is data. Then development. Integration and analytics and innovation. So the idea is people come up with ideas, whether it's in your organisation or how we can improve our own applications. And it often starts from using some of our low code capability whether it's something like Visual Builder or Oracle Application Express. And from there, we also talk about being able to use a conversational type of UI, using things like digital assistance or chatbots, or creating some sort of new mobile app. With this capability, we're often then interacting with business touch points known as APIs or data sets that are very valuable for what the customer is trying to do. It's from this sort of input, we can then work out what we want to do from a development perspective. And all of this is actually sitting on some sort of data platform. Whether I've got some sort of transactional focus or some sort of reporting focus. And along this, we tend to actually have a varied set of needs with what I need with data to support that. So often if I'm dealing with something like an idea 
What I'm looking for is something to be automated because I'm just testing something. Right through to something that whether it's being uh, production or mission critical, I actually need something that gives me high control. So Oracle provides a varied set of data management options there. And then obviously all of this is sitting on our infrastructure that is both horizontally and vertically integrated with the appropriate isolated security capabilities to make sure we've got security being managed. And what's also quite exciting here is that additional bit of secret source is how we have machine learning infused here, where it's to support how we run all of this tooling or how we make it available so we can maximize it from an applications or an end user experience. So my parting words is I strongly consider to experience what's possible with Oracle's five layer technology, wherever it's to look at driving some sort of new change capability or improving what you do here in the core. Thank you for your time.